hide all operations. So now we will make one more page in our application for uh, cart details. And here we will show cart item list as well as the price summary also. So let me just show you the look and feel of this page. Here you can see that this is the cart item list and this is the price summary. So in this, this video, we will show only static content and in upcoming part, we will make it dynamic and uh, it will visible only uh, once user is logged in all right so first of all we will make a component and we will make routing for it after that we will uh, show the cart item list on that page and uh, we will just make a cart uh, price summary also and at last we will add some style also so now let's start with the first point and create uh, one more new component so i am just putting there ng g4 generate c4 component and uh, component name you can put any name to that one and i am putting their cart page so once this uh, component is created we have to set up the routing for uh, uh, this component so that we can just display it as a different component and uh, for that we have to jump on app routing model.ts and we don't need this command line so i am just closing it so let's define one more routing there and let's provide the component name will be cart page component and the path for this will be cart page all right and after that let's uh, go to the header so that uh, on the click of uh, uh, this cart we can open a new page right so let's open header dot html page and here you will find three cases default case user case and sailor case so we have to just uh, fix it only for we have to just provide the link only for uh, once user is logged in right so what do we need to do there let's in the case of a user logged in just make a router link and that will be cart page and now let's check is it uh, working or not so if I'm just clicking on a cart, you can see that this is redacted on cart page. And uh, inside that we have to, as you know, write the HTML and CSS code. So what I'm going to do there, I am just jump, I'm just closing all of these pages. We don't, we don't need, need them. Let's open the cart page and just start writing HTML. So I'm creating a div there and uh, we can add a class name to it. Uh, let's say class name is cart page after that we can make h1 tag and here you can just write here cart page or cart detail whatever you want and we need to div also and they they div will basically use the bootstrap classes like row and uh, inside it i am putting up one more div and uh, i'm just uh, dividing that screen in two part one for summary and another for detail so for summary we will just use 75 percent area so i am putting putting here call sm uh, 8 right and uh, for different one i am using their class call sm uh, 4 i think that will be fine okay so uh, the next thing is you can add uh, some static content there. So I'm putting one more div inside it. Even we don't need a uh, div inside it. You can just simply add a class to that uh, colsm8 with colsm8. So just put their class name is details and summary to the class name for the another call. Alright, so now what we need to do there, you can add a uh, ul and uh, inside that we can add some li and image first of all, right? So as it just, you can see that this is the image and after that we will take took some more U, uh, ul also. So I am putting an image uh, url and for a dummy image I can use this url, right? That one and uh, after that let's take one more l and ul and you can use this span with span you can just say that product name and let's just make some more uh, 
list also let's say uh, product price and you can just simply say that price will be let's say 100 rupees or dollar whatever you want to just put there and after that uh, quantity and uh, last one is uh, we need to add the button there right let me add a button text remove to cart all right and let me add a style with that button also so you can use this uh, common class for foam button this is a common style for all buttons right great so now if you just want to take a look on the ui you will find that uh, okay so this is actually just uh, displaying some default ui even we did not create the ui till now so what we can do there so because uh, before just making that, that video i was preparing for this that uh, video and added some style so if if you will just start this ng server again you will find that uh, the cache will be removed from there because this style is actually coming from cache right and one more thing we don't need this uh, p tag about that so let's wait for a second all right so now you can see that this is actually the style how it's look like but uh, uh, this is not actually a really good ui so we have to add some style also there so now let's open that style page and uh, what we can do that for there okay for with first class we can add a uh, some style for card page so let me just put their margin top 40 pixel margin bottom 50 pixel and with card page dot h one tag let me make it center aligned text align center and now uh, let's go with the details and for details let me add some border right uh, border one pixel solid and the css could be like this or triple d okay but uh, still you will find the image is actually too large and that's why this is not looking fine so what we can do there dot details and image we can just put their height is let's say 100 pixel and now that will be uh, look like a thumbnail but still we need uh to, we have to add lots of style there so what i'm going to do there i will add style directly inside our uh, inspect element area right in dev tool so first of all i will just i will just fix the padding and the margin and uh next thing is we can uh, just remove these dots so uh list style type could be none <clears throat> and uh, display flex and uh, i'm just giving some, some more space to it and after that uh, you can just provide their space uh, justified content space between right so i think uh, this is much better right so the next thing that we can do there mm, mm, that you why let's put a bottom border because there will be lots of uh, items there so i'm putting their border bottom one pixel solid and ddd for a moment you can see that this is a double bordered but there will be a list of products after that you will find this is working fine padding 15 pixel to it right uh, that will be padding bottom not all padding padding bottom uh, 15 pixel and margin bottom could be again 50 pixel uh, I think uh, that is pretty fine so after that what i'm going to do there i'm just copying this content and putting inside the dot detail ul 
right and the next thing is that we need to do there mm. let me check okay i am just thinking that there is some issue with button actually so we have to add a uh, this button this class with the button not with the ul right so let me add that one and as you know there will be a uh, multiple contents so i am just copy and paste it some items let's say three or four items and uh, now this is a bit better right and this is the uh, product uh, you can see that uh, cart item detail so now let's say we want to show the product uh, price summary also so for that what we need to do there we have to just add uh, some more html so i am adding there h3 tags for summary heading i'm just putting there summary and uh, after that you can just again took a li ul to there li inside it a span also and with a span we'll just write there amount again need span let's say 300 or whatever because this for a moment this is static in next api in the coming uh, part we will delete the api right after that text let's say 10 percent is text here after that uh, delivery so let's say this is the delivery charges 20s discount and uh, we can put there let's say 50 and at last again we we need a uh, un and now i will just put their span tag and inside it i am putting their h4 tag and you can see that portal to it and uh, let me add one more span h4 again and any price let's say 330 the total price or you can see that directly 300 right and again you will find this is not look like uh, a decent ui so we have to add again some ui to it so for that what i'm going to do there to inside the summary if we have uh, dot summary and h3 then it's, it's, that should be text align center and inside that we have some other elements also so let's say we have that uh, jewel <coughs> so for that what i'm going to do there border one pixel solid and ddd or ccc whatever you want to put there and list style type again will none and if you want to add some padding let's say 10 pixel then you can do that right or 15 pixel great let me just copy it oh this is not what actually happened to it okay so again what we can do there dot summary and uh, ul and now at last we have a summary ul li and uh, let's say display flex and justified content could be space between and i think now it should look fine and here we go right so this is a static ui for card detail and summary and in next part we will make it dynamic and uh, even we will get this price dynamic also we will remove to, to implement remote item and uh, once user 
uh, place the order we will show the all item inside uh, like uh, my order option and all right so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel you can support me by like this video share this video on social media platforms and all thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video